Welcome to another edition of Chaplain John with Chaplain John Sayers, featuring special reports and interviews with people doing kingdom ministry in Tulare County and beyond. And now, here's Chaplain John. Hey, do you want to live to be honored in 30 years? I don't know if I do. Happy Advent, by the way. Uh, Advent is the season that we prepare for the birth of the Lord. And well, we got our, we're getting our Christmas tree up and uh, just hoping the cats don't knock it down. But Advent's not only a time to prepare for the birth of Jesus. We need to remind each other, Advent is we prepare for his coming again. So in a way, we're always in the season of Advent, preparing for, and how do we prepare for his birth? How do we prepare for his coming again? I love the themes of Advent. Hope, we prepare in hope. We prepare in peace, we prepare in joy, and we prepare in love. Love those themes. Well, that's, wanted to throw that in, but this is what Gail and I were reading this morning. And uh, and we're, we're reading through the book of Genesis, chapter day. We have this Bible app guide that really yeah, gets us thinking about this a bit more, and then we pray and all the good stuff that we do in the morning. But let me read to you what we read just this morning. This is Genesis 47 read the whole chapter, but I just want to read 7 through uh, 10. And here it goes. Then Joseph brought his father Jacob and presented him to Pharaoh. And Jacob blessed Pharaoh. Pharaoh also said to Jacob, uh, how many years have you lived? And Jacob said to Pharaoh, the years of my soul journey are 130. And unpleasant have been the years of my life nor have they been attained the years of that my fathers lived during their days of their soldiering. And Jacob blessed Pharaoh and went out of his presence. <laughs> so Pharaoh, it's, it's older than Jacob. Well, 130 years old. <laughs> and, uh, and they haven't been pleasant years. I mean, my soldiering, uh, it's been tough. Um, but but my, my, my father, Isaac, my grandpappy, Abraham, well, they lived also long lives, too. Uh, and there's something about, uh, but I, but something about Jacob or Israel, and she's in that name change, uh, that knew that God was with them. <laughs> well, especially um, when uh, Jacob wrestled with God or the angel of the Lord all night. <laughs> and he, he got a blessing. He got a name change, isn't it? Uh, Jacob means heal. Uh, he was, his name heal because he's holding on to the heel of his brother Esau, he heel, and he was a heel at, one, at that time too, I guess. But uh, Israel means one who wrestles with God. So in a sense, he might have been wrestling with God. They haven't been pleasant. I've wrestled, I question, I struggled, but I always stayed with God. That's what Jacob's done his soldiering. I don't want, first of all, I'm not sure I want to live 130 years getting up there in 70, 71. Some of you watching this or hearing this is old, are older than that. And I, but I want happy years. I want, you know, I, I started thinking this morning, God, how do you want me to navigate my life in the 70s? <laughs> I never thought of that before. And I listed areas that um, I want to ask God to help me navigate these areas and uh, navigate my, uh, my love for you, God. Show me how to do that. Uh, how do I navigate uh, to grow on my love with Gail, with our kids, with our family? And I started listing these categories. Show me, God, how to navigate. I want a happy life, you know, but God, help me navigate regardless as we soldier in life. And someday, someday, when Jesus takes us home, if you have a relationship with him, or he comes back, oh, Lord, come soon. Um, we will have a happy and blessed life. But until now, God, show me how to navigate my life with you, with hope, with joy, with love and peace. Got that messed up. This is peace, but God, help me to do that. Well, okay, there's a thought for the day. Uh, how do you want God to navigate your life? I don't want to live 130 years. <laughs>